Congratulations! You're now the proud owner of the finest piece of home exercise equipment made. That fact shows that you're committed to fitness and good health. Here's a few simple instructions and tips about using this remarkable machine. I know you're excited about the purchase of your health rider and probably anxious to get started on your road to fitness, with good reason. The health rider will take you as far as you'd like to go on that road. This video will only take a few short minutes of your time. In it, you'll be introduced to a few helpful hints about setting up and using your health rider. First of all, you are strongly advised to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program. Start slowly and take care not to exceed your abilities. Because it's non-impact and easy on your bones and joints, the Health Rider can provide an excellent workout for those with limiting health factors. But it's important to follow your doctor's advice. If you are pregnant, diabetic, have a heart condition, or any limiting physical health condition, do not undertake this program without your doctor's permission. Your Health Rider is basically ready to use right out of the box. It is important, however, that you inspect all of the parts to be sure that your machine is free of any defects. This equipment includes a timing meter and magnet. First, remove the cover and insert the batteries as shown on the inside of the battery compartment. Then replace the cover. Next, simply hold the meter above the front plate of your health rider. Slide the clips, located on the bottom of the meter, onto the plate until the timer comes to a stop. Firmly press down on the front end of the timer until it snaps in place. The magnet housing should snap in place easily into the two small holes just under the timer. Your meter is equipped with an auto on-off function that automatically begins functioning as you begin using the Health Rider. If you stop for longer than four minutes, the meter shuts off in order to conserve the battery. The meter tracks elapsed time, the number of repetitions you've done, and average reps per minute. Simply push the select button to choose the desired option. Because no two bodies are alike, the Health Rider can be adjusted for your individual comfort. The soft contoured foam smart seat has been designed to allow you to sit with proper seating posture. This is very important because proper posture helps avoid back strain. By loosening the adjustment knob found under the seat, you can slide the seat forward or backward as needed. Simply align the front end of the seat with the inseam measurement guide on the side shield. This ensures full comfort and benefit when you're exercising. Your handlebar may be placed in one of two positions. For basic and intermediate workouts, start in the standard position, farthest from the seat. To insert the handlebar, press the chrome lock buttons in and push the bar downward until the lock buttons pop out through the holes. Always make sure the handlebar is securely in place before beginning your exercise. For a greater emphasis on lower body toning, the handlebar can be placed in the second position, closest to the seat. You can move the handlebars to this position at any time during your workout. We've made it purposely easy to switch, so you won't have to dismount and interrupt your workout. This option moves the bulk of the effort to your lower body, really working the muscles in your legs, thighs, and glutes. Because it's quite intensive, we recommend that you don't use this handlebar position until you've been using your health rider for some time. And if using the second position ever causes strain or discomfort, stop immediately and move the handlebars back to the standard position. We recommend mounting your health rider with one of the following two methods. The first most recommended method is to sit on the seat, place both feet on the pedals, then stretch forward and grasp the handlebar. Pull it toward you and you're ready to begin. 
The second option is to grasp the handlebar firmly with one hand for security and then to straddle the seat. Balance your weight on one foot while bringing the handlebar toward you. Step onto one pedal at a time and rest your weight on the seat as it raises. As your fitness level increases, you may want to up the intensity of your workout. So we've designed the Health Rider with a fully integrated weight system. The weight system is welded securely onto the Health Rider mainframe. The weight system allows you to extend the natural resistance of the Health Rider or one's own body weight up to an additional 100 pounds. Easy to use clamps make adding weight a snap. This will keep the weight plates from moving, providing a whisper quiet, intense workout. Your 1996 Health Rider comes with two two and a half pound weights. Additional five and 10 pound weights are also available. Here you are. Your Health Rider is set, you're set. Now, we'd like to demonstrate a few movements you can use in your workout routine. You can incorporate some of them, or all of them, into your own personalized exercise routine. That's what's great about the Health Rider. You can custom fit your workout to match your own specific goals and abilities. Always remember to warm up and stretch before exercising. This raises the core temperature of your muscles, allowing greater flexibility and protecting against injury. We'd like to quickly show you just a few ways to warm up. These are a few scenes from the Health Rider workout video. Remember to always do at least eight repetitions of each movement. We won't be doing that many here because we're basically just demonstrating the moves. Start by circling the ankle, first one way and then the other direction. Now point and flex, point and flex. You'll want to do this on both legs for at least eight repetitions. The Health Rider really works the muscles of your shoulders, arms, and back, so you'll want to warm them up as well. You can stretch out the neck muscles by looking over your shoulder, first right, then left, and drop your ear to your shoulder, left and right. Now stretch your shoulders by rolling them back like this. Okay, now stretch out the muscles in your waist and back by reaching out with your palm, first to the right side, then to the left. Next, reach up and over your head from side to side with your elbows slightly bent like this. Again, those were just a few suggested ways to warm up and stretch before using the Health Rider. Now we'd like to show you some of your options for riding the Health Rider. Here are a few scenes from our workout video. Start in the basic workout position with your hands in an overhand grip your fingers curled around the bar and your thumb next to your fingers. Your feet are pointing straight ahead and the ball of your foot is right over the middle of the pedal. As you bring the bar in, make sure your posture is straight and your abdominal muscles are pulled in. Now, you can emphasize different muscle groups by switching grip and foot positions throughout your workout. For example, to really work the inner thighs, turn your toes out. When doing this exercise, always remember to line up your kneecap with your toes. Toes can also be turned in for an extra challenge. This works the outer thighs and outer calves and strengthens the ankles. Please note that this foot position is not for beginners. Using different hand grips emphasizes different muscles in your upper body. An underhand grip works the biceps and triceps. Slightly rotating your wrists each time you bring the bar in helps to maximize the benefit. A wide overhand grip works the muscles of the upper back as well as the shoulder blades, lats, and triceps. Holding the center post provides a great workout for the lower body. Or you can alternate one hand at a time. Now, if you really want to work on your upper body strength, you can isolate those muscles by switching your feet to the upper pedals. This shifts 100% of the effort to the upper body and greatly intensifies the difficulty. The pedals are fully revolving and self-leveling, allowing your body to maintain a healthy, fluent movement. But they should be used only for an advanced workout. 
and never use the upper pedals unless the handlebar is in the standard position. Also remember, you can incorporate the Health Rider's weight system into your workout regardless of your pedal or handlebar position. This allows you to custom fit your workout to your personal fitness level and to reach your workout goals. You know, one of the greatest things about the Health Rider is the variety it provides. You literally can never get bored. We've shown you a number of ways that you can target toning and fine-tune specific muscle groups as you reap the rewards of an aerobic workout. We've demonstrated how to isolate the lower body by using the bar in the second position and how to focus on upper body strength by using the upper pedals. How to work different muscle groups by using various grip and feet positions and even how to increase the intensity of your workout by using your machine's weight system. We hope you can mix and match these options to find the very best workout for you. After all, no one knows your fitness abilities and your fitness goals better than you. Just remember that lifelong fitness happens a day at a time, so pace yourself. Allow yourself to gradually work up and always remember to cool down and stretch after exercising. This allows your heart rate to return to normal and helps prevent injury. Before we go, I'd like to show you just a few examples of ways you can stretch your muscles after using the Health Rider. You can stretch out your calves by placing your heels straight out in front of you. You should feel that pull in the muscle. Stretch the hamstring by grasping the bar and slowly, gently bringing your upper body forward. Come forward just until you feel a stretch and then stop. The Health Rider really works the back and abs, so always stretch them out as well. A good way is to drop your head, curling your back up and pulling your stomach up into your back like this. You can stretch your shoulder by pushing against your elbow with the opposite hand. To further stretch the muscles of the shoulders and back, pull your arms behind your back, interlock your fingers, and lift slightly. Finally, to stretch the quadriceps, stand holding onto the bar for balance. Then, with your right hand, grab above your right ankle and pull gently. Then change to the other leg. We hope that these guidelines are useful as you build your own exercise routine. Through a consistent program of exercise, you can tone and tighten muscles, burn fat, and build endurance. You'll look better, feel better, and all of this can be done without the strain to your body that often accompanies other forms of highly intensive exercise. Congratulations for choosing the Health Rider. I know you'll find it the perfect vehicle for your personal journey to lifelong fitness. During this introductory video, you saw excerpts from our 30-minute beginner intermediate workout video. We also have a 50-minute advanced workout video. These fun, easy-to-follow videos lead you through a safe, intensive workout on your Health Rider. You can order either video for only $19.95 by calling this phone number. Or for a limited time, you can receive both videos for only $34.95. That's $19.95 for one or $34.95 for both. Call today and join us in a power-packed Health Rider workout.